Well, hello, my name is Dr. Linda Jurek. I'm with the City of Edmonton. I'm a senior environmental engineer in the uh, drainage services branch. Our discussion paper is on really watershed management. The challenge that we have is we really want to be improving the aquatic health and uh, the river water quality itself. In a growing city, that's always a challenge. It always poses uh, uh, a lot of difficulty um, in trying to uh, create a sustainable ecological environment. Um, the city has been uh, working on and advancing uh, different strategies and initiatives, and the discussion paper highlights some of those different initiatives like the stormwater quality strategy, the uh, combined sewer overflow control strategy, the total loading plan for total suspended solids. Our discussion paper will, will, will highlight some of the new innovations. The really long-term solution is to look at uh, uh, making some changes to land development practices and looking at some new initiatives like low-impact development. Think about some of the concepts because it's about watershed protection and watershed management. And you may not know it, but actually it directly relates to you, your lifestyle, your behavioral habits. Like myself, I'm a, a citizen in the city, and I've been involved in the watershed side of things, whether it's water treatment or river water quality monitoring, um, looking at land development practices for, for a good number of years. I can tell you that you're linked in uh, to these issues in how you manage your property, um, if you fertilize, um, how you work on uh, if you're doing any sort of site construction activity uh, in design or during the construction phase, uh, if you're into recreational activities, uh, if that's uh, quadding or hiking and appreciating uh, trails. Uh, one of the main benefits that come out of uh, implementing some of the new innovations, uh, like for example low impact development, is it, it can provide for a healthier, greener landscape. Dolph, that's one of the things that motivates me in uh, pushing for watershed protection. If we can, if we can uh, encourage better rainwater uh, and, and stormwater management closer to source, I think we all benefit. We have a greener landscape, you can have a greener downtown, you can have uh, healthier pitches for soccer and park space. So that's just one tangible example of how this plugs into um, the whole concept of having a sustainable community and sustainable urban design.